Okay, so we've got a Veruca just planted to the fourth, fifth bases of the proximal phalanges. I wonder how long has it been here for? Well, the doctor first I documented it three years ago. So right, and what and what treatment have you had in the past? Just had it filed down. Mm -hmm. um, that that's all. Mm -hmm. And who did that? A podiatrist. Okay. Any acids or freezing or anything like that? Oh yeah, that? there was a freezing once. Um, yes. Right. So you haven't had much, not a lot done, right? No. But you but want it, this gone permanently? Yeah, because I've just decided it's um, been there too long. Yeah, it's a nasty one. Yes. Let's see, between 22 and 32 centimetres, so about 15 centimetres above the malleoli. And we're sitting at 30, so perfect. So the palm case is Okay. Fantastic. So we'll start. So what have we got here? So this is the Hemiclear Tourniquet. Um, so like I said, it's all sterile in here. That's a cutting card, so don't throw that out yet. Mm -hmm. When we're taking off the tourniquet, you can take it off like that. Use a scalpel and cut it off. Gotcha. Good. All right. So, toe cap goes straight onto the patient's toes. Okay. Might need help, but we'll see. Should just roll. Oh, sorry, thank you. Definitely need some strength. Yeah. Oh, there you go. And the tricky part is the ankle. So I mm -hmm. might want to get you to hold your leg up like that. Yeah. So if you do have a second person, that would be helpful to hold the patient's leg up. But not if it's lovely enough. <laughs> do you mind holding it maybe from here? Obviously, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Goodness. Sorry, Mark. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a tricky part. Do you want me to give it a try? Yes. <laughs> it doesn't work. I'm going to hold the foot there. So let me see if I, without holding it, then I can, let me see if I can stabilize it on my chest. So one person can do it at a time. Yeah, it's it's um. <laughs> we did it before. We did it. it wasn't this hard? How did we? Yeah. That one was not this hard at all. Oh. Mm. <laughs> okay. So the trick is. Actually, hold it at a distance. At a and distance pull. instead of closer. And then, uh, and then is that is it it hot, tight? Yeah. Now, unravel it. Uh, I think, yeah, so, so that should there. be fine. That's about 15 oh. centimeters. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ouch. Now that's very tight. Yeah. That's going to ease up. Okay. Take this off? Yep. So you can take that off and you can take all this off as well if you like. So that can just uh, all unravel. <sighs> gotcha. Right. Oh, I did get it tight. Is that a little bit better if I take it down? Uh, yeah, okay. Is that better? Yes, a little bit, yeah. It's still tight. Yeah. You let me know if that gets too much. Okay. But in a few minutes, that should ease up. Yeah. Right. And how long would this procedure take? Um, less than 10.
So okay, what you do is you go around until you will notice, see how it's starting to then separate? Mm -hmm. Like that? Mm -hmm. And you can just use the belly of the blade to see that separation? Yeah. So far, it's been very effective in preventing bleeding. Fantastic. Yeah, I can tell. Wow. So, obviously, without the tourniquet, there'll be a lot of bleeding. Mm -hmm. And it's the reason for having it on. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, that's it there. Phenol application. So the verdict with the tourniquet is it can very effectively um, stop bleeding. So if you don't have access to adrenaline, um, this is a tool that would definitely work. It was difficult to put around the heel area. And just asking Margaret again, Margaret, how are you feeling with the pressure around the ankle? Yeah, it's okay. It's Has it eased up a little bit? A little bit, yes. So initially it felt quite tight, right? Yes. Where it was causing you a bit of pain? Well, yes, it was uncomfortable, yes. And now how would you rate the, um, that level of it's discomfort? It's bearable. I can still feel the pressure, but it's bearable. It's bearable, okay. Yeah. So it starts, it's, I think it started to become bearable within about a couple of minutes. So with the hemicle, it does mention that it should be 10 to 15 centimetres above the malleoli, but mm -hmm. really it doesn't need to be that far, especially if the patient's uncomfortable. You can definitely roll it closer to the malleoli and still get in great. Yeah, I think um, if it's around the ankle, it'd be more tolerable. Mm -hmm. So then we just bright the edges to make sure because the worst bit with this is if you leave virus around the periphery mm That's it. Mm. That's that's cool, Tash. <laughs> Sorry. Right. So this is just really extra phenol application, mm. just in case it's a mild, it's a mild acid, so it'll help clear out any wart, and also it cauterizes the area as well. Pat it up well because these do tend to bleed a fair bit.
How are you feeling, Margaret? Very good, yes. The tool taken out now, is it? Yep. Done. I'm gonna, I'll show it to you in a sec. Okay. If you want to see it. Yes. <laughs> There's no chance of sending the video to me, is it? Yeah, I'm going to publish this um, on YouTube. Oh. And yeah. I'll, um, I'll get Amanda to send you the link. I've got this little, uh, it doesn't show your face or anything like that. Okay. Um, it's for podiatrists to see how things like this work. Mm, interesting. Okay. I can share it with people on YouTube. Yes. Yeah. It's a very boring channel. Once again, only podiatrists would really want to yes. watch it. All right. I can let me take over and I'll get you to take it off. Feeling okay, Margaret? Yes, thank you. Okay, that is the procedure, and we should expect some blood to come back into the foot now, and we're done.